So let me ask you this. If you were if like you were on the beach and you got your ass kicked by an octopus, would you tell anyone? Would you tell I, anyone about this? I I I probably would actually. Yeah. The fact that like I saw an octopus uh -huh. is like kind of a dream of mine. So the fact that like getting beat up by one, pretty is chill. Up there. Pretty okay, chill. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I saw this story where it was like a geologist or a marine biologist or some shit. He was on the beach and apparently got his ass kicked by like the meanest like octopus ever like apparently there's like a, a in this in this on this australian beach there's like this really mean octopus and like this like marine biologist got beat up by him and like i sent it to my sister and she's like i wouldn't tell anyone and so i'm like i wouldn't <laughs> stop telling people about that if, right? I got, if i got my ass kicked by an octopus like a bully octopus beat me up i would like tell everybody there's so many cool layers to that too. Yeah. Like I was, I was in Australia. Yeah. First. first of all, yeah. I saw an octopus. Yeah. Oh, I love them. They're like little weirdos that, you know, I have theories that they might be aliens. I'm so of course I love them. I'm convinced that they might be aliens. In fact, we're definitely going to cover that on the show at some point. Yes. We have to. And and then for it to be like one of the badass ones, mm -hmm. like, like what, what are we on the wrong side of the beach? Like with the hoodlum i'm octopus? just like yeah i'm picturing and, he, and he's got an australian accent too so like he, oh yeah he's he gonna be like oh oh mate what you doing on my beach like, crikey <laughs> crikey <laughs> <laughs> yeah i would definitely tell people i'd be telling everybody about it mm -hmm. i'd be like this fucking octopus just whoop my <laughs> ass dude like that'd be my go-to party story for years so like did he like need medical treatment? I don't know. I didn't see the full article. I just saw that. I was like, <laughs> and I was just like blown away. Like, I it was like, what the? It took me a minute to process it because I'm like, I don't, I don't even know how to deal with that. Like, like, like he's got eight legs, but like, is he like getting up on two of them and like beating the shit out of you with six of them? They're, they're really wriggly. So I feel like they yeah. can get away with a lot with how wriggly and like they can squeeze yeah. places like. I don't know. Octopi, I don't know. Octopi are weird. They are weird and a little bit scary, but also I love them. I still love them. Yeah, they're, they're, they're they, they seem like like kind of like the seas grump. Yeah, yeah, I like them. They're yeah. and they're just so smart. I I love how smart they are. Listen, I'm I could talk about octopus. <laughs> I love it. I think they need to rule the world. Honestly, they like, will. Actually, there there was a study that said that uh, octopus uh, or uh, squid and octopi will actually be the next evolution. I hope so. To, well, uh, we're gonna be dead. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. Like, yeah. I'm okay with that. That's fair. That's fair. But like, I think I think that would be a really cool world. I I would actually, if if that were to happen, I think I would want to live in that world. Yeah. Like that's true. a little, like a cool version of like the Little Mermaid. That's true. That's true. What would Octopus <laughs> Land be like? Maybe a little bit like uh uh, what's the mean octopus, Ursula? I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe like her cave a little bit with her little minion uh eels. Those little shadow eel things. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. I actually that made me think of a random uh fun story too speaking of sea life have you uh, heard about charlotte the stingray no uh so i actually need to i actually need to see what happened with that but there is a stingray who has been in this tank with no male stingrays <gasps> and I, she's pregnant i did hear about this it's, yes. sting, it's stingray jesus new jesus yeah they're dropped. saying they're saying it's either stingray jesus uh -huh. which i'm about like i think i would follow that religion i'd follow stingray religion. jesus yeah or she got pregnant by the male sharks in her tank with her. Well, I mean. Which that's also kind of cool. That is pretty cool. Like shark rays. Ooh, I like it. I like shark it. Shark rays. Shark rays. Hell yeah. Welcome to Weird Wide, everybody. I am uh, JD Ross with Bethany Marshall. Uh, we are talking about weird shit today, uh, as always. Oh, um, yeah. I say as always, but I, I really, we, I feel like we do have to address the fact that we have not released an episode for a little while. Uh, just to let everybody know, we are still live. It's just we're pretty sure there's been some kind of curse set yes. upon the podcast because we we've been working hard and mm -hmm. everything that could happen has happened literally there's a squirrel that's dead because of the curse 
It was a squirrel, yeah. right? It was a squirrel? Um, I don't know what it was. It wasn't a squirrel. It was bigger than a squirrel. Ooh. It was like a mutant ferret. I don't know what it was, but it is dead. I cried. Yeah. It was terrible. It was on the way home from trying to record here. Uh, we had tech Successful. Issues. Yeah. That was a successful recording. That was. Until, until you went to edit it. Mm-hmm. Well, as it turns out, uh, the original plan to record in person did not work. Apparently, the office is too small. Uh, so it is what it is. So but the fun fact of that the fun the fun thing is we do have a lost episode. So the lore of we weird do. Wine, yeah, we got that going. It's for a, us. And it was a fun episode too. It was. it was a really good episode. It was so maybe Maybe one day it'll be discoverable on the internet, on the dark web. That's right. That's right. It'll be discoverable. <laughs> it's not going to sound good because the quality is Oh, out. yeah. It's going to sound like release sh- it, but Yeah, it's going to sound like shit. But it is a good episode. I think <laughs> I, I, I pitched a fun episode where me and Gordon Ramsay hang out. Uh, I pitched. A oh, fun yeah. Show. Remember that? I want that yeah. out there. Like, like, I'm mad that that didn't happen because like I want Gordon Ramsay to know. So I'm just going to do a quick pitch right now of, of that show. Uh, so basically, the idea is like Gordon Ramsay and I are buds. And we go around <laughs> to like we like we go around to different like you know like food things and like I have to try to make it and then he has to give me shit but then after that I have to make him like eat like what normal people eat like like so he has to like endure Taco Bell mm, and I, have I... To here, like like dude check out the cheesy gordita crunch and he's like oh, it's fucking it's a dog's dinner <laughs> I would get so mad listening to him dog on Taco Bell though because oh I love Taco Bell I do too but that's the thing is like I'd get to convince him I'd be like it's the Baja sauce Gordon like taste the Baja sauce <laughs> and then Baja. like we see if I can get him to like see the way of the yes man. <laughs> take take him to Waffle House oh shit, late dude. night Waffle House honestly though Gordon Ramsay at a Waffle House he would be the one like he okay he would be like a like a fighter walking in and like <laughs> just like kind of look around all dramatic and shit and like he would just he beat the shit out of everybody I don't know I kind of feel like have you ever been in a Waffle House late oh, night yeah. because I kind of feel like you might get the shit beat out of him a little bit not Gordon not Gordon I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that one. That one's dicey. I would take bets. That's true. That's. That, I would take. Bets. I'm not fighting. I'm not fighting. I'm. I'm a oh, yeah. not a fighter. So I'll let Gordon. A, I'll watch. Yeah. Like... Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so before we get into some weird news, you had a shout out you wanted to do. We I did, we do... did on the last episode, but it's on the lost episode. So <laughs> it's on the lost. So now there's two shout outs uh, to a very important person. Pebble, the best driver in his country. Hell yeah. I promised, I promised, I promised that I would give you the shout out. And here it is, Pebble. You are amazing. Pebble, we love you. We love you, Pebble. Well, today we are going to be talking about a really weird true crime situation that happened. Uh, definitely a little bit of focus on mental health and weird advertising shit. But before we yeah. get into that, before we get into that, got a little bit of weird news. Uh, only got one story for uh, for weird news for this uh, for this episode. Uh, apparently, we got to watch out for zombie deer again. Uh, no, no, no. Like, like this is like a or new like a new, new a new, a new, set. new yeah. zombie deer. Oh, apparently, geez. Oh, yeah. There's like 31 states are reporting this. It's like chronic wasting disease in deer, and like they're saying it could spread to humans. Like they're con- they're kind of comparing it to mad cow a little bit. I don't. I don't like it at all. And this is coming from somebody who likes everything like zombie apocalypse. Oh, yeah. I don't like it at all. I don't like this. Imagine like a fucking like a red eyed, like half like jaw hanging off deer hanging outside your window. Oh, Oh, no. See, that's how they're going to get you. I'm I'm fucking patient zero. Yeah, you're going to get your. That's how you get your brains eaten by a deer. That's fine. You know, <laughs> there's poor Bambi. Right. Poor Bambi. Poor yeah. Bambi. Him's just a hungry guy. Well, he's going to be a hungry. He's hungry for brains. <laughs> and then I'm going to be walking around as a zombie and everyone's going to be like, not much has changed, but that's fine. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Patient well, that's zero. All, that's all I got for uh, weird news. So we got a little bit of zombie uh, deer action going. So don't, don't eat the venison, I guess. Yeah. I don't, and I don't, don't, know. don't feed zombie bambi outside your window that's right don't do it you're gonna be tempted to i'm going to do it you're gonna do it yeah i'm gonna do it 
All right, so today we are going to be talking about Zombie gonna, Bambi. Not Zombie Bambi. We're going to be talking about we're going we're going back to the '80s today. We're going back to the the glitz and glitz. We're going back to the Where's the Beef era. That's what we're going back to today. <laughs> today the are, Where's the Beef. The Where's the Beef era. That's right. The the Miami Vice era. It's a, <laughs> it's a good time. Glitz and glam and neon, all that shit. Today we're talking about the noid and specifically a weird hostage situation that the 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 character of the noid led up to so when i was looking into this and uh -huh. kind of digging into it could you imagine being the person that thought of this ad campaign oh my god at the end of the day like oh. after everything yeah like you're like that was such a good idea this was my moment to shine and well, and this is one of those things too where like because it was a successful campaign like yeah. it was successful but like the noid really illustrates like i don't know this is another reason i love the 80s because i feel like they took chances now i feel like the reason they took chances is because the boardrooms were full of cocaine that's Convinced probably yeah, that's probably pretty accurate. Hundred percent convinced that's why, because like the Noid is a weird fucking character. Yeah, he was definitely it definitely makes me feel uneasy. Yeah, well, and I think that was the point. The point yeah. was to be off putting. He's a villain. So for those of you who don't remember the Noid, the whole the whole thing with the Noid is he was Domino's mascot from like the early 80s into the mid 90s. And then they tried to revive him at one point uh, after that. Um, but basically the Noid was uh, he was a, a, a weird cartoon. It was Claymation, which I found to be a little off putting anyway. Like Claymation was kind of huge back then. I hate Claymation. I yeah. hate almost everything. Clay it's so creepy to me. There's some cool. Claymation I like, but like this. It's yeah. Yeah. It's I don't know very how they cool. do it. I don't know how the hell it's, they do it. Oh, you should look it up. It's so tedious, but oh very God. interesting. Yeah. I bet it would be like so tedious. Like, I didn't like playing with Clay just like as in art class. I loved it. I loved it. I loved Clay and Play Doh and everything. Hmm. Well, I didn't care for it. <laughs> <laughs> but the Noid was basically this concept for dominoes now it was basically like he was a, a weird dude in like a rabbit costume and his whole thing was he hated pizza he hated fresh pizza and that was like his whole dealio was there ever a reason for him to be in the costume though because that, that was I weird found. to me i have that not found, was yeah strange it just seems like it was like this like artistic choice they went with and like i can't find any rhyme or reason for why because like i do bunny i mean like it's it's clearly a bunny dude or a rabbit guy yeah and like maybe it hates pizza like maybe yeah. bunnies have a, is, an is aversion a, to pizza is that a thing like do bunnies not like pizza not that i know of i used to have a bunny and she i don't think cared did, about you, feed, pizza. did you feed her pizza no but she used to attack people when they came over hmm Bunnies so. can't be trusted. I'm going to be honest. Bunnies <laughs> can't be trusted. She was so sweet. She just didn't like stra Stranger Danger. She well, learned it well. I mean, I can't really say anything because you've experienced the wrath of Spooky. So, Oh, I love Spooky, though. Yeah. I miss her so much. So the yeah. Noid was created, actually. I didn't realize this. It was the same ad company that made the California Raisins. Do you remember the California Raisins? Makes sense. Yeah. Like, because it's the same. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's very strange. Yeah. It's very, very strange. Surreal, so, I would call it. Yeah. Yeah. I was also very uncomfortable with the California raisins. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I did not like it. And everything, they were, they were everywhere. They were. I, and I was like a small kid. And mm. I don't know. They were, I did not like them. I thought they were kind of fun. I remember specifically, like, the, what, what like the 80s were really big on claymation like, there was the claymation christmas celebration where it was like this t-rex and uh triceratops they were in a suit and like this <laughs> town square and like the triceratops was obsessed with snacks and like the t-rex was like trying to keep things on track and trying to keep wassling going on but like the the raisins made an appearance in that and they were like it was it's kind of fun it was like they missed like the bus so they had to play music to get santa claus's sleigh it That's didn't make weird sense. lots of cocaine the 80s that, yeah were a weird fucking time <laughs> yep but i think with like the claymation i think it's kind of how they have like the 
the Pixar, like the 3D thing that they're doing yeah, now. Yeah. Everything is that weird 3D Pixar feel. Yeah. So it's just like the trend or whatever. Yeah, it's exactly. a new technology. It worked over here, so it should work over here as well. Yep. Yeah, same yep. idea. Same idea. And the way they came up with the name of the Noid, it's I didn't really okay. Did you did you find this one out? Did you did you find like the I, origin of the name? I think that I did. But I'm going to let you because okay. I might be wrong. Okay. So it was because Domino's employees are called Dominoids, which I did not. That sounds you made up. You told me as that. Fun. Yeah. You told me that. That's, that's yeah. That sounds made up. I would quit my job. I'm sorry. You're like, going to call me a Dominoid? Yeah. That's. It sounds like an insult. It sounds like it. It sounds like an insult for like a mentally challenged person. Cocaine. Cocaine. Uh, honestly, it was probably. It, because of cocaine cocaine is a hell of a drug and it was yep. just everywhere in those boardrooms <laughs> they were just like they, they like they like, let's go the dominoids like <laughs> do you know it'd be so cool they're what, gonna love it what if they dominoids. Were dominoids and so the noid was born and the whole thing was avoid the noid because the noid would try to stop your fresh pizza from getting there because that was also remember this is not a priority anymore but like back in the day pizza was 30 minutes or less and yeah, I, and it was like crazy. People were crazy about it. Mm -hmm. I remember my dad being like, they got 30 minutes. We lived so far out. So we had to drive to meet the pizza man. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, and it was like a 20 minute drive to meet the pizza man. And so your dad is like, no, no, no. They better be 30 minutes or less. 30 minutes. That's all they have. 30 what, minutes. I mean, it's, it's like in the Ninja Turtles movie. Hey, I'm wearing a Ninja Turtle shirt. It's, it's Heck like yeah. in that, it's like in that the pizza has got 30 seconds. Wise man say forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I can't believe you just quoted that. That's amazing. I want to. I, I I had to work that in. That just that's beautiful. Just that was amazing. <laughs> so the the noid was on track. Like like it was one of those things where, where like it it was like going better than they thought it would. Like there was like noid breakfast cereal. They were in talks for a noid TV show. They were in talks for like no, like they they were talking noid merchandise. Like I don't know if they actually released noid merchandise but there was talk of like noid action figures i i wouldn't be surprised the breakfast cereal is a surprise to me though yeah yeah it if it, it fits for right now because because yeah. everything is breakfast like there's yeah. tweet cereal and like hot wheels has cereal now oh yeah well i mean they've always <laughs> done that with cereal where like if it's really? if it's a cool concept i mean dude they had bill and ted cereal <laughs> They i didn't had, know that oh, they've had everything they've had ghostbusters here like if there's a if there's an ip they've made a cereal about it that's actually kind of cool that's i've got elvira cool. o's i've got a box of elvira <laughs> <O's>. <laughs> that i guess you know if you can cereal it then why not merchandising that's what it boils down to is merchandising yep. Especially in America, where oh, our yeah. cereal aisle is insane, and it's basically like walking down a giant commercial. Pretty much, yeah, and that's that's and pretty anymore. much all it is, yeah. And honestly, I'm a little like I feel like cereal has gone downhill, though. I feel like we're not we're not living in the golden age of cereal we once were. No, but I found Waffle Crisp, the Ooh. best cereal ever created. French I toast crisps were good too. Yes, they were, they, but Waffle Crisp. <laughs> A hundred percent. You can smell that in the, it's probably the worst possible thing that you could ingest. Oh yeah. Uh, probably none of the food is actually food grade. Oh, yeah. I will eat it every time. I just, can smell it in the other room. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, so it's just good. like, just cause fruit loop says has the word fruit in the name doesn't mean that <laughs> they're actual fruit loops. So <laughs> yeah, that's no real fruit was used in making exactly. fruit loops. Exactly. <laughs> so things were going, and the whole thing with annoyed was like, cause okay. I, did you watch any of the commercials? Cause I went through and I just binge watched <laughs> Noid. I did not. I did not. It, I mean, honestly, the little thing was creepy as hell to me. It's so and creepy. He makes that weird he, little <laughs> kind of noise. I, I, uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I just, it was a very uncomfortable thing. Like yeah. just to look at him. I don't know. Well, okay. I, I, I would have been you, freaked out. I, I need you to know out. I did it totally sober too. I was completely oh, sober. Just binge watching Noid commercials. And like his whole, it, like I said, his whole thing is stopping 
pizza from getting there. So he's like, he's like using an ice gun on the pizza to try to like make it cold. He's fucking, he, he's coming out so and just all, all these yeah. weird wily coyote schemes that he's just coming <laughs> out with. And people That's... loved the Noid. That's terrible though. Could you imagine like being that, like I hate pizza, so I'm yeah. going to ruin it. It's like, it's like, first of all, like, like what happened, Mr. Noid, in your life? that you hate pizza so much he hates hot fresh pizza uh it, maybe he's like a cold pizza girl yeah. cold pizza the next day for breakfast that's true maybe that's he's true. a cold pizza girly that's true but he seemed like he had like a big problem with pizza <laughs> i just feel like it's like you know i mean honestly it's probably because he was like it, domino's is not very good that is true uh i hate to i hate to agree with you yeah. but so I can see why the Noid would have an issue with their pizza. Yeah, there's. How do you mess up pepperoni pizza, Domino's? Literally. How do you mess it up? That what is happening? Literally, I've got I've got beef with Domino's anyway, so yeah. it, it just is what it is. So, <laughs> <laughs> so people loved the Noid. Like I said, things were looking up for the Noid. He had this whole like massive cultural run. Video games were. I think there actually might have been a video game at one point, like where oh, you had geez. to like yeah, you had to deliver the pizza, and the Noid was trying to get you. So. <laughs> Everyone loved the Noid, except for one dude specifically. Mr. Noid, what was his first name? I can't Ken remember his first name. Kenneth, Kenneth. Lamar Noid. Yeah, he, yep. I maybe he related to the Noid. I don't know. I apparently Mr. Noid had a lot of like undiagnosed issues. Like looking back after like everything that happened, they're thinking that there was like. They're thinking there was some like paranoid schizophrenia. There was like some just, uh, yeah, I mean, mental health like has, that's another thing too. It's like, like put, you gotta like, you gotta like realize like where we were in the timeline of things. Like Reagan had literally shut down across the country, like all the, like so many mental health facilities. It was like mental health. It was like a war on mental health, like as, as a practice. So like this dude had no chance. Like there, it was not a priority, like for this dude to get the me the mental health help that he would have needed. So like at this point, we 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 can't. Uh, there's no. I mean, you could like speculate, but there's no way to know what was really wrong with him back then. Yeah, and it's actually really kind of sad because yeah. even you know in the time, would they have even known he had probably been shamed for his mental health so much. Yeah. And which is just going to spiral at worst. Yeah, because the 80s, I mean, again, like, like you just said, he would have been shamed like a son of a bitch because it was just like it was that stigma surrounding it. Yeah. And, and it was just like, if you got mental health issues, you're a crazy person. Yep. And that's and it's it's terrible because like we've come so far, but yeah. we still haven't gotten away from that stigma, Truly. which we really need to because of situations like this, because, Absolutely. you know, people can maybe not live completely normal lives blah 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 and all that but stuff like what happened with the noid yeah. wouldn't be happening and it wouldn't be as is happening as much anyway yeah. so yeah yeah and and this is actually this is what, what i like about the story this is actually we i feel like this this particular situation lends a little bit more to be able to laugh at because nobody got hurt initially yeah. which yeah that doesn't happen a lot in true crime stories yeah, thankfully, I was definitely when I was researching it because I hadn't heard of it until you told yeah. me about it. And when I when I was researching it, I was definitely expecting injuries. Oh yeah, deaths, shootout. You know, yeah. And so I was very relieved. Mm -hmm. I was very relieved that he didn't hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. It was. I don't want to say ended peacefully, but it could have gone worse. It it did and it didn't. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, what happened is Mr. Noid. I'm assuming this like didn't help because like avoid the noid was everywhere. So like he was constantly hearing avoid the noid and like references to the noid and like in Kenneth Lamar noids mind, he was having a mental battle with the CEO of Domino's. They like taking it very personally, very personally. Very, they're out to get me, he, which is yeah. very much paranoid schizophrenic everyone's out 100%. to get you 100 percent. and you know he's he, he sees these commercials and all everything mm -hmm. avoid the noid and like 
that just it's it's a spiral at that point absolutely it's- yeah and he's got it in his head that dominoes is specifically targeting him like this man had it in his head that a multi-million dollar ad campaign was directed at him specifically some nobody it's- it's so sad too because like i said going back to the mental health piece of it like the poor guy could you imagine i always i always put myself in these people's shoes could you imagine every time one of these commercials comes up and just like it's Mm -hmm. triggering you to this level of psychosis where you're like oh my god dominoes is after me they're trying to make me look bad they're trying you know yeah, he's like, like I imagine him sitting in like a one bedroom apartment, just like fucking dominoes, like sons yeah. of bitches, just like seething, yep. and like no one else, like, like, I, I, could you even complain about that? Like, even as a paranoid schizophrenic, like, do you think that he complained to his friends about it? Like, do you think that came I, up? He probably did. He, okay. if it gets to the level where <laughs> you are holding uh, Domino's employees hostage, yeah, he's probably had said something to the people around him. There was guy. There but, had to be signs. Yeah, there was definitely. There had to have been. Oh yeah. But then people around him are like, "Oh, ha, 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 that's just crazy." <laughs> Kenny that's and just his crazy, crazy Kenny. Talk. <laughs> crazy Kenny. <laughs> He's the he's the weird guy down the street, that crazy Kenny. Well, and this is also a cautionary tale, like to be cool with the weirdos that are out there because you never know what's going on in someone's head. And this all came to a head when Kenneth Lamar Noid walked into a Domino's location. Now, I know he fired his gun twice. No one got hurt, but he fired his gun at least twice. But he held two employees hostage. I read too that he was making like they were still making pizza. Oh yeah, yeah. It was still a functional Domino's, which I don't like. Do you think that was like negotiated during the whole the hold up? Like, do you think probably? Was, like, like, do you think there was like like a manager or or if it was like an employee who was like on like one more strike is strike three, and it's like I can't, I like I can't fuck this up, man. Like, <laughs> I know you're going through a thing, but can I keep making this shit? And we get it out there. And he was probably like, I understand. 30 minutes. It was probably like somebody who is just about to get that promotion. Oh, yeah. And he's like, listen, man, I know this this is awful. But or maybe he was like, you're going to make these pizzas and they're all going to be late. They're all going to be after 30 minutes. That's the thing is like if they're oh shit. Do you think he was like, yeah, you could send it out at 31 minutes. Like so none of these. Right. Oh, shit. there's so many things that like I have so many questions on what actually happened. Like what was said? What conversations were had in that domino? Because there had to have been. I mean, he's not just going to stand there silently. You know, they were talking. You know that. Yeah. Wow. I didn't even think about that. Like I, I think about the like everything that went down he went into dominoes he had a gun yeah then what happened like what was the conversation had after that what yeah. why were they still making pizza like yeah. i don't know definitely i don't know I mean, very strange it's, it's also one of those things too where it's like <sighs> you know what retail's like we've all worked in retail or customer service or some shit like yeah. you know having some crazy whack job come in the in the building and hold you at gunpoint is not going to be excuse enough to get a late pizza out so somebody's going to complain fun story <laughs> i worked at papa john's and there was a night somebody had came in and held us up yeah i i was on the phone taking an order while there's he literally had a gun and was holding us up And I was on the phone trying to take this woman's order. And my manager is like, just, she's like whispering, stay calm. Just keep taking your order. I'm like, what do you mean? And then taking her order. And so I ended up putting her on hold because I have anxiety. Yeah, well, that would give anybody (laughs) fucking anxiety. Imagine having my level of anxiety (laughs) and then that happening. It was a mess. It was, I couldn't like make words. And they ended up, he ended up leaving, didn't get any money. There was this really tall guy and he was just like, get out. And he did. And, and then after that, she was like, finish your call. I'm like, finish your call. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're like, just keep making pizzas, keep pushing these pizzas out. Like, yeah. Cause there was somebody that's got to answer to corporate later. Yup. Yup. And that, (laughs) 
that experience has been like playing through my mind as well as I'm looking through all of this stuff. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah. Wow. Fuck it that, tracks. Dude. It dude, tracks. It's one of those things where it's like, if like my boss like said that to me, I would look at the guy with the gun and be like, well, I think this guy has seniority. So I'm going to ask yeah. this guy, like the gun yeah. kind of makes him the boss. Yeah. At that point. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to listen to the guy that with the gun. It's like, that... I know you're writing my paycheck. But like this guy's got an actual gun to my head. Yeah. And this is Papa John, so I'm not fucking. Hmm. I'm not dying for this pizza place that no. pays minimum wage. No, absolutely Sorry. not. Absolutely not. And honestly, like looking back, like if 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 everybody wants to go back to the uh, Papa John episode, a uh, very early episode of Weird Wide, Papa John not a good guy. So like I'm not dying for his fucking company. Definitely not. It's not. From what I experienced, not a great company to work at either. Yeah, yeah, not not a good one. No. Nope. Well, we do know that some things were said because Mr. Noid had demands. And this is what I find a little interesting here. So he had a list of demands. Basically, I think it was like $100,000 cash, which seems like a small ask. Yeah. If I was going through all of that, I would yeah. probably want... Two two hundred and fifty thousand. Well, this is also we got to think too. This is also like late eighties, early nineties money. So like, what that's going to be worth a lot more. But that's true. But it's all about like saying it. Yeah, a quarter million dollars. That's true. That's true. You know what I would do is if I were demanding money, I would demand a super uber specific amount because it throw it'll throw them off. You would. I, I'm going down to change. Like I want exact change. <laughs> That's so messed up. I want the like, suitcase. Ask, ask for it in certain like denominations. Like I want this many hundreds and this yeah. many fifties and this yeah. many. Literally. It'd be so difficult. Oh, I would. I would do that on. It's like if I'm doing this, I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna do it right. I'd be like, listen, just cash at me. <laughs> cash. <out. laughs> no, actually, no. Because also, you know what you can do too is you can do the thing from Airheads where uh, you ask for ridiculous shit so that you can plead insanity later. Wait, what? Oh, the movie Airheads? Yeah, yeah. They, they, so I've never they're... seen that. Oh, my God. Okay, that's an unhinged that you're going to have to hop on with me and the ghost at some point. I will have to, definitely. It's like they start asking, because they're holding up a radio station, they start asking for all these like weird demands. So like they ask for a football helmet full of cottage cheese, uh, a giant baby bottle, and pictures of B. Arthur naked. Oh, uh, <laughs> so like the one guy shows up, and they're, like, they're looking through the pictures, he just looks at he goes, B. Arthur. Outstanding. <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> How? Yeah. I'm, I'm more stuck on the football helmet of cottage cheese. Yeah. Yep. They were like, so we could, we could later on, we could like plead insanity. Yeah. yeah. Ew. <laughs> uh, I, I like, like cottage cheese. I and don't. that's even like. I don't. The uh, not so a fan. Too much. That's too much in a in a yeah. football helmet. Yeah, no, thank you. A football no, helmet thank you. filled with it. So, ugh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Le leaking out of the cracks or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Gross. So we asked for the hundred thousand, uh, which I don't know. Like, what is that even worth? Like, like what is the like? Hold on. What is the? I need. I need to know what that's actually worth. Find it. Yeah, I'm gonna just say like 1990 money. 19. I'm gonna guess. All right, you guess. Uh, probably. I mean, probably close to like. Maybe one seventy five to two hundred thousand. I don't know. I'm not very good with. Oh, you're actually close. It looks like it's about two hundred and thirty thousand. I'm. I look at. I'm so smart. Hell yeah. So. <laughs> so yeah. So okay. So that's not bad buying power. It's still. It still seems like a low number for like the commitment that you're making here. But I also yeah. guess it's like that's easier to get together than a million. Yeah. Plus. If I remember correctly, it was mm -hmm. only two employees. Two. Yep. So, so like your bargaining power does go down. Bargaining yeah. chip. And let's face it, mm -hmm. they're gonna definitely put how many employees our lives are at risk into consideration. That's that's a good point. Like, because if you got like a dozen people, you've also got bargaining power. It's like, okay, we can get you this. You gotta send out one of the hostages. You gotta meet me halfway. But you got two hostages to start with. You don't got a lot of room to negotiate. Nope. So, nope. you know what? Okay, that actually a little bit smart on his part. Makes sense. He's like, I I don't have a lot, so I'm gonna ask for a little. Yeah. And you know what? Good for him. That's I can Smart. dig. Yeah, yep. I can dig. I could see where his line of thought was. So along with the money, he also asked for a getaway car, which I I don't know. Like, like, do you ask for the getaway car or do you ask for the chopper? Because like either way, 
like with the getaway car there's gonna be roadblocks you're not getting anywhere but like you need somebody to fly a chopper so it's like what's the what, what what's... and a chopper is way more noticeable that's true too i yeah. would probably ask for the car it'd have to be a good car but not anything too extravagant because yeah. that's once again noticeable i like Give me a nice, reliable, like, Toyota. Oh, uh, a Subaru. Oh, back then, it would have yeah. been one of those K cars. Remember the K car? No. Oh, the Reliant K, those were those were nice. They were I a do fine, not. I do not remember that. They were a fine American automobile. <laughs> I'm going to have to look it up now, though, because... You're going to, as soon as you see it, you're going to recognize it. Like, it's like one of those ones where it's like, oh, that, that car. That thing. Yeah. That. Yeah, you've seen those. Like, they're, they, I feel like they were a good, like, mid-range car. So, he, yeah, he probably would have got, like, a, a Reliant K, a Subaru, something like that. Something reliable to get out. Yeah. Was, were there any other demands that he made? He had one other demand. He wanted a copy of a book called The Widow's Son by, hold on, what's this guy's name? Robert, hold on, I got the, uh, by Robert Anton Wilson. So mm -hmm. I've never read it, but I looked into it uh, when I was trying, and I was trying to just find like book summaries and shit. And it's, it's part two of some like ridiculous like sci-fi stories. Apparently, Someone, one of the reviews I saw, and I was just skimming, so I have no idea if it's true, but like one of them said it was like the best sci fi epic since Dune, which is a bold fucking statement considering that's what a Dune big is. On. Yeah. Statement. That's yeah. a big statement. I, now I want to listen to this. I know we had a hard yeah. time listening to the audiobook of uh, The Titan, but yeah. this might be worth listening to. Well, it's, it's like, it, lo it actually doesn't look bad. It looks like it's like, sci-fi alternate history it's like the illuminatus chronicles or some shit where like this Ooh. this dude is like going through his life and like it's like i think it starts like around french revolution era and he gets introduced to the freemasons and he's like just oh, going geez. trying to like not get sucked into history like into like big events that are happening but like apparently at one point they start to worship like try to convince him he's jesus it's like it, it's so another weird thing that's just like what what was like in his mind what did that book mean to him it yeah that if it was important enough for him to be like this mm -hmm. is what i want you can have these human beings that mm -hmm. i'm holding hostage with a gun yeah uh risking everything literally mm -hmm. risking his life yeah but i all this book this book is Gotta on the list. Of it. Yep. Get me a copy. I want it. I want to know. Yeah, we're going to have to, we're going to have to like try to read that and see like what yeah. the fuck, if we can figure out what, and like, that's probably a dangerous game because we're just diving into a crazy person's mind. But like, I kind of want to do that. I, you know, I, I live in a crazy person's mind every day, so that's I true. don't mind. That's true. I don't mind at all. What's a little bit more crazy? Right. <laughs> Maybe well, I can be self-aware enough to where I don't slip all the way down the rabbit hole and start being paranoid about dominoes. I like it. That, okay, you know what? That's positive thinking. I can, I can, <laughs> I can dig it. <laughs> I try. I try. So the standoff was going on, and, and the funniest I, – I find this bit to be the most ironic thing. So the thing that ended up stopping the situation was pizza. I was it. I didn't read about what actually stopped. I read about everything that had been happening, but I didn't read about the conclude. I read about the aftermath, mm -hmm. but how explain. So I guess in the middle of the whole situation, them making pizza, there's pizza smell in the air. It's like still going like you, you can't avoid it. I mean, like you can you avoid the noise, but you can't he avoid, couldn't that smell. avoid the noise. Could not avoid the noise. So in the end, he said, Hey, I'm actually kind of hungry. Would you guys? And it's like, would you mind making me a pizza? It's like you're you're gonna say sure. What do you want in your pizza, sir? Right, <laughs> so right. While, like, put your gun away, and I'll yeah, make you exactly. A pizza. But that's that's what like ultimately brought it down. So like he's sitting there eating this pizza that they made for him, and like I guess he put his gun down, was distracted, whatever, and they and they bolted, I guess, out the back. Jesus. So, this is like a really twisted version of like how the Grinch stole Christmas. Like his heart yeah. grew 
two sizes too big or something like there's like a little there's like a small redemption with it all but what i would have loved if if he had survived longer than he did is i would have loved for him to like I would have loved for him to like don the Noid costume, like because like the the like this this is the origin. It's like if you look at a timeline, if you look at a timeline setup here, you've got a total origin story. Because here's why he hates pizza: because I was holding up a Domino's and pizza led to my downfall, and then I had to serve time in jail for this shit. So fuck pizza. I'm ruining pizza for everybody. So like him would then go out in the Noid costume. And this is just a this is this is what I I would have loved to see happen. And he just Marvel like, needs to take notes. Marvel needs, Marvel to, take needs notes. to take yeah, notes. This is the next big thing. The Noid. Okay, come on now. Like you could have like some super pizza kid like like come out and fucking stop him. But yeah, so pizza, pizza fucking stop him. Yeah, I I love the I love the idea of Marvel super villain Noid. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, we just get to such a bottom of the barrel. Like we've run out of characters so much that we're like, you know what? It's time to unleash the Noid. <laughs> <laughs> we're, I think we're getting close though. I, I think, think we're so. getting pretty close to that because they're all running out of ideas and that's why oh, yeah. everything is like a remake now. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so he was distracted enough by the pizza. They got out police took him in peacefully he uh there was no uh issue from there i guess at that point he was like well that's my leverage so i i guess i fucked up so Oops. he yeah he he got taken away he actually did get off. it's funny we were talking about like temporary insanity before but he actually did get off on temporary insanity but it makes sense though because mm -hmm. that is definitely a case where you know i fully agree that that was mm -hmm. maybe a lot less temporary than mm -hmm temporary insanity but yeah it was definitely an ongoing insanity yeah definitely ongoing yeah and then unfortunately a couple years after the fact uh so he got off i don't know what happened between then and you know but he ended up uh, committing suicide in 1995 so yeah clearly... i think it was it was what two years yep. after yeah yep. so clearly there was like a lot of ongoing issues that were not addressed that unfortunately he became a victim of the system with that so yeah. i would say he's the he's definitely a victim in this yeah i don't I, this is a case where i i agree mm -hmm. uh i think it's all it's all victims um yeah. you know coulda shoulda woulda if things yeah. were different you know right and it's kind of terrible and it's that's yeah. one of the reasons why i uh i i try it so hard to get rid of stigma when it comes yeah. to mental health like with my kids and the people around me like yeah. we talk openly about it because of stuff like this like yeah. i grew up with a paranoid schizophrenic parent yeah and you know it's it's you have to take away that stigma so it's mm -hmm. not so weird to talk about right because it's the thing so is, they it, can get it, help. It, yeah it may be uncomfortable but like it's much more uncomfortable for the person suffering from it and yep. if, if they have nowhere safe to go eventually things like this can happen that's the problem is this is like this isn't an isolated incident this is like you know th things like this have have happened a lot it just doesn't always present itself as dramatically and honestly kind of weirdly fun but. yeah it's definitely <laughs> kind of a like a, a comical almost yeah. It's just like, uh, like it, it's it's like a dark comedy. But, yeah, yeah. You know, like I feel for him, but at the same time, like this is kind of a funny. Yeah, it's as definitely far as mental weird. Illness goes, that's a funny setup. If I went down the road of yeah. losing the battle to mental illness, right? You know, make it interesting. Yeah, that's I'm okay true. With that. That's true. Don't don't do that though. I'm going to try really hard not to. Everybody at home, same. Everybody at home, same. If you're having any kind of thoughts, talk to somebody. Yeah. Talk to somebody. And always remember that there are so many hotlines. So there, many I hotlines. I can't think of any right now, but, uh, you know, I will in if, the description if, of yeah. this video, add some, add some 100%. mental health, uh, absolutely resources. Yeah. For absolutely. Sure. Cause there's definitely plenty of those. Uh, if you're watching on the YouTube version, I'll uh, put, I'll put the numbers up, uh, on the screen here as well. So like, yeah, cause there's definitely resources. Don't think that you're alone. Don't yeah, think. absolutely. Because... There are so many people that are struggling with the same things. Yeah. And it does get better, even if it seems like it's 
the absolute worst that can ever be it does get better it does absolutely well it didn't get better for the ad campaign because this absolutely was a pr nightmare that i'm sure domino spent a lot of money trying to bury but ultimately they buried the noid himself uh this was just too much fucked up press so all the merch deals the tv deals everything was off uh they didn't revive him again until 2021 and it was a limited run they didn't do much with him he came back as like the disney pixar looking thing like you said. i that I do remember. Yeah. I remember seeing something when you brought it up. I looked yeah. up. I was like, "Wait, I do remember this, but it's not from not back from back then." then. It's this like, yeah, recent. You, you remember the computer animated version? That honestly bothers the hell out of me. Yeah, that they brought him back just because of what happened. Yeah. Like, leave it alone. Leave you it can, alone. You can leave it. You can come up mm-hmm. with something new. Yeah. Hell, Quiznos had, like, a dead hamster or something. Oh, that thing was you iconic. Know? I know. It still <laughs> is. I yeah. still see that thing everywhere. Yeah. <clears throat> but, like, there's there's other ideas. Well, and don't. Like, literally, don't. Literally. Honestly, whatever Domino's has been doing for, like, the past decade or so, I am so irritated by Because, like, remember they started to just do that whole thing where it's like, we're sorry we suck. We know we suck. And we're sorry for it. We're going to do better. We're Domino's and we're going to do better. And I was just like, you don't even believe in you. No. Nope. Like, and honestly, they lied. Yeah. They did because they're not doing better. Here's they're the thing. Not. Papa John's may be like founded by a fucking weird racist asshole from the South, but they believe in themselves. Better ingredients, right. better pizza. No one out pizzas the hut. Domino's is over here like, we're sorry. We're, we're sorry. sorry. Please buy from us. Please also, can we talk for a second uh, about how they have uh, tater tots now? Like what? That's the thing. They have loaded tater tots. Like you're a pizza place. Calm down. Be a pizza place. Like I can, yeah. I can accept chicken wings. Like we're, you know, side like kind of things like that. Breadsticks. You gotta have breadsticks. Cheesy breadsticks. Dessert. Sure, but like tots. The one thing I will say the the jalapeno bacon stuffed uh stuffed cheesy bread mm-hmm. from Domino's though. I yeah I I have to I admit can't say I love it some of their weird side things are not bad I, I like that buffalo chicken thing they got it's not I bad. I tried that of course I got the tater tots because I had to try it yeah yuck ew it doesn't sound like it'd be good from there no it's very like it's it it I feel like they just kind of put it in the microwave for a little bit I could see that I could see pretty that. pretty upsetting stick yeah. with pizza stick with I would pizza. even stick with like the really bad pizza place salads yeah Uh, that's just like lettuce and like whole tomato yeah the lazy salad olives like whole olives just thrown in here i you know what even do that that is very pizza place not just leave leave the tater tots to sonic i've never yeah exactly i've never walked into a pizza place and been like man i bet you the tots here are just fucking top notch no never thought that sonic exactly that's Maybe where you go for tots or like a sheets. Yeah. Sheets, sheets has good really, tots. really good stuff. I love sheets. I, I think... order from sheets way too much. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's so good. Everyone listening. If you don't have a sheets, you should get a sheets petition your municipality to get a sheets because you need a sheets. Isn't that only like a regional thing too? Like I sheets think isn't ever. I, I think Pennsylvania specifically is known yeah. for people being stupid, obsessed with sheets. Yeah, well, there's like a war too, because like like my family lives down in like Virginia, and they got Wawa down there, and there's like a sheets versus Wawa thing on the East Coast. So like, I've heard of this. It's it Wawa's okay. It's no sheets. I've, I've had Wawa one time, and I was like, oh, it's okay. This is food. It's fine. It's, it's not yeah. gross. No, it's edible. It's fine yeah. for a trip. It's fine for like fuel. Yeah, like it's I wouldn't choose it. No, if I had that like if it was a sheets, I honestly even a Royal Farms. I choose Royal, Royal Farms. Farms yeah, over... Royal Farms is pretty good. Yeah. It, it it could definitely give sheets a run for its money. 100%. But like sheets is still it's, of the Yeah, three. it's it's up there. That's the it's one. 
it's That's definitely good. oh and their milkshakes listen i'm about to go on doordash right now and order so much food because of this literally like honestly like this is like the only problem with like not eating before i record because like i know if i eat before i record i'm gonna be just like oh welcome to weird wide <laughs> it's been, we hope we're gonna get weird today no i gotta be like i gotta be empty bellied otherwise i'm gonna yeah and now so. you're just starving to death yeah but it's okay because like that after that post recording meal it's gonna be so good you just sit down, eat, Hell eventually yeah. fall asleep, and I then got, have a wonderful work day tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait for that. I have got actually I've got dinner already made. I made fucking Ooh. chicken piccata over orzo. And that's it's fancy. Delicious. That's right. I went a little fancy. We did uh Philly cheesesteak, <sighs> but quesadilla. Ooh. It was very messy. I I would rather have the bread. But it yeah. was still good. Yeah. It was still good. That sounds good. <laughs> well, you know, I'm uh, okay. This this is this makes too much sense that the topic of this episode would lead to a fat kid corner because here we are. <laughs> I during the entirety of researching this, uh -huh. and every time I'm like, okay, we're gonna do this. I just start thinking of food. I'm like, yep. Okay, well, Domino's. And then I'm like, you, and I go down the same hole yep. that we just went to the sheets thing. And then I start mm -hmm. thinking about the slushes from oh, sonic oh yeah listen oh yep. and now i'm like doordash is gonna hate me because i'm gonna be ordering from like 14 different places to get the perfect <laughs> meal just the perfect <laughs> meal but that blue raspberry slush oh, from oh sonic my God. Yeah, you ever put nerds in that shit yes oh. it's so good oh time so out good. on on the on the delicious with the nerds you uh -huh. know what is the best thing ever nerds with vanilla ice cream they used to have it as a blizzard at dairy queen and they don't have it anymore but it's so good i have never tried that I'm i was that. obsessed Obs as a kid i was obsessed that sounds really good i'm a, I'm, so I'm absolutely trying that next time i have the opportunity like i'm 100 percent. well it's clearly so clearly we are hungry so we're gonna we are gonna wrap this episode up bethany where can everybody find you uh, you can find me on TikTok at bethany.gets.weird. Also the same name on Instagram. Even though you're not really using Instagram too much. Uh, yeah, no. I posted my tattoo on there and that was yeah. about it. It's a gnarly tattoo. It's a fucking <laughs> awesome one. So go check that out. Uh, you can find me, uh, same uh, TikTok and Instagram at dudistweirdo. Uh, and uh, find the show at www.weirdwide.com. That is the official home for Weird Wide on the interwebs. Uh, you can find information on us, every episode recorded. Uh, and uh, you can also sign up for the newsletter, get episodes sent directly to you. No, no that's, it's a, there's, a, there's no better deal. You just get it right, yeah. to, you, right, just right your to your door. Right to you. We DoorDash without the fee. That's what we do. And without the food, though. Yeah, there's no food. But God, I'm hungry. I am so hungry. All right. We <laughs> <laughs> this has been Weird Wide. We will see you all next week. We love you all. And until then, stay weird. <laughs>